Hello and welcome to part 2 of Let's Play California Games. In this video I'll be doing the last three events and showing you the cheats. Um, I'm just about to do the roller skating event. This one's very difficult. Um, like the skateboarding, we only get three lives, so we can only fall over um, two times, and the third time we fall over, that's it. Um, you get points for jumping over obstacles, such as ice cream cones, grass, cracks in the pavement, beach balls, puddles, things like that. Um, I'm going to try and make it to the end, and uh, that's all I really do in this. I don't really aim for a high score, and that usually puts me on the high score table anyway. So, um, here we go. Okay, um, if you press up and down that makes you move, and if you press button 2 that makes you jump. If you press left while jumping you do a spin jump. If you jump or spin jump over obstacles that gets you points. There's no time limit so just take your time. So, uh, some of the obstacles are quite difficult to see. That was close. Yeah, sometimes um, if you if you're going slowly enough, you um uh, you just go through a, an obstacle rather than uh, get tripped up by it. But yeah, it's by far the the hardest uh, the hardest event in my opinion. It's just uh, some of the bits in this are nightmarish. I'll probably end up falling off at some point. Hopefully. Yeah, if you go through it slowly, you don't trip up. It doesn't really. There's no time limit, so just take your time. Although I think you get more score if you go at speed. So you know, you have to find that balance. No, I don't again. Come on. I'm trying to go through this. There we go. There we go. Oh good, I didn't fall over. So, 2,740 points, there we go. And I easily beat Mark, the old record. So yeah, if you just don't fall over, um, it's quite easy. And then we get this again. I'll do them quickly so I don't win by accident. Okay, now it's time for BMX. Just talk about this one quickly. Okay, uh, to make the BMX move, you have to you have to press button two rapidly, um, really rapidly. It makes it move. Um, when you're um, when you go up a hill, if you press button if you press button one, you do a high jump, or you can jump any time you want. Pressing up and down will move the bike up and down the plane, so you can avoid obstacles. But the main thing we want to do here is uh, is we want to do some um, tricks, uh, and they'll get loads of points. Um, if you um, while jumping, if you press up, that does a tabletop, that's sort of leaning to the side. Pressing down while jumping does um, a spin. You, you sort of spin, but in the in the uh, what's the word? Um, in in the in in the plane parallel to the ground, if you know what I mean. You you spin parallel to the ground in the X. Uh, in the X Y plane, that's it. Yeah, because Z is going upwards, isn't it? Yeah, you spin in the X Y plane. You rotate in the X Y plane. Um, pressing the um, pressing left um, while uh, while jumping, we'll uh, we'll do a back spin. That's spinning in the in the Z X in the X Z plane. If you know what I mean, sort of perpendicular to the ground. Um, and pressing right, we'll do a forward spin. Now you get three lives. Uh, like in skateboarding and the um, the roller skates. However, if you land on your head and uh, and and you fall off because you land on your head, it sort of it, you lose all your lives instantly because it assumes you broke your neck. It's really nasty, I know, but that's how it works. If you break your neck, no matter how many lives you have you have left, yeah, you, you forfeit the rest of your lives. So if you if you are going to bail, um, don't do it on your head, which means that the uh, the forward and back spins are really risky because they risk doing that. Um, yeah, um, at the end, what used to get me when I was younger is I always seem to fall off at the end. Um, 
if you want to stay on the platform and sort of um, you know stay on the platform at the end you have to the way I do it is I hold left and repeatedly press button 1 and that seems to stop me from going off at the end and I eventually come to a stop there's also one more trick I didn't talk about that's the uh, the wheelie just hold left without jumping and you'll do a wheelie anyway here we go there's a wheelie tabletop let's do a 360 now that's it right now a backflip that's close no I won't do one there no nope, another one of them that's it that's the backflip and that's the forward flip lovely Oh, I didn't jump in time. That's it. Perfect. Uh, for some reason I pressed up while jumping and it thought I was doing a... Um, I thought I was doing a, a tabletop when I didn't really mean to do it. So, yeah. That's it. Good. Don't want to go into an oil barrel here. I have enough points now. I don't really need to do any other tricks. I just want to make it to the end. But I'll do that though. Here we go. So keep pressing, keep pressing left and tap button one, and you won't fall off. That's the only way I managed to do that there. Excellent. Good. Um, otherwise, you'll fall off at the end. Although pressing back um, and button one repeatedly only works on that bit. Otherwise, um, it, it won't do anything unless you're on the uh, the ending platform. Easily beat Bob. Good. Yeah, it's mainly the um, the barrels and logs that seem to get me on that one. As long as you don't muck up the the tricks, then uh, you won't land on your head or whatever. Oh wow, I actually got the foot bag one. Oh, I won't need to put the password in. Yeah, this happens. If you put the password in, which for the foot bag is um, Takeiko, it it does it automatically. You, you press it any time, and you always come up with the foot bag one. Anyway. Now we're on to the flying disc, the, the final event. Um, the flying disc one is not on the Mega Drive version. Anyway, just talk about this one quickly. Okay, we get three goes. Um, you have to press button 2, I think, and it starts the, the thing at the bottom fl uh, flickering. Press left, and you have to press right when it's in the green, so you get a good speed. And then then the uh, the cursor will go to the right and then press left when it's in the green it's quite, it's quite tricky to pull off perfectly and then you have to you have to make it uh, you have to make your other man who's on the right there you have to make him catch it um, you get more points for a flying left not flying rather um, a diving left catch or diving right catch rather than a, than a catch if you're just standing still but obviously they're more difficult to pull off um, the running one is is a uh, it's easier to do um, than the the diving one, and you'll get more points for it. So, if you want points, uh, try to aim for the um, um, for the running left or right catch. Otherwise, just try to uh, try to go for the standing still one. It's really difficult to pull off. Anyway, here we go. Okay, so press button two, then left, then right, and then left again. Oh, that was close. Just got it. That was a good one. Ah, oh, that was a terrible speed. Go all the way over here. Ah, oh, completely missed it. Okay. That was a bit better. That's 
it? Perfect. Keep up the tricks. Two out of three. Two for three. I've only ever managed to get three for three once, I think. Anyway, that should be enough to get over the uh, yeah the uh, high score of Jen, 777. Good. And then another one of these. Okay, I'll practice in the um practice at, at the foot bag because we've already unlocked that cheat, so I'll do that now. See so if you notice the um the gravity for the for the foot bag is really low, so it's really easy to do all the tricks, even the reverse dodo which should be a bit easier now. No, missed it. The extra well the extra time in the air made it made it go uh Need to go to the right more. Maybe that's a dodo. Oh. It's the reverse dodo, there we are. The old seagull. No, I think he's trying to run away from us there. There we are, poor seagull. You can do loads of gestures in a row, but it of course takes all the challenge out of it. I mean, and it's so slow, it's sort of frustrating. Yeah. It's easier to do the jester from behind, but you can do it from the front, but it's harder to do. Because you can't do the side kick like that from the back, you have to do... You, you can only do the jester from behind, that's why it's easier to do the jester from behind. Although in, in theory it should be more difficult, but, but of course it isn't. I've already shown you all the tricks in my um, in my proper run of this in the previous video, so there's no point. Uh, now that we've done that, um, I'm going to put the other cheats in. Um, Kataro for the for the bike and Noriko for the surfboard. I'll just do them now. Just reset the game. Right now, if I enter my um, name as uh, Kataro. Remember that the O's are O's and not noughts, otherwise it won't work. Uh, the easiest one to get a high score on is the half pipe, so 10,000 points, and and you can end it prematurely by losing. You can't do that with the surfing. Flying disc is too hard, uh, as is roller skating, and the, the I suppose I could do the foot bag. That's quite easy. All I, all I need is 10,000 points, and I get the high score. I just need to get to the game, the mini game. All mini games, really. Absolutely easy. This is. I could do this. I'm not even looking at the uh, skateboard. I'm, lo I'm looking at the score right now. It's just so easy. Yes, did the uh, kick flip another one? Oh yes. There we go. That's how good I am. If anyone can tell me how to do the aerial plans, I'd be really, ha I'd be really happy. Really grateful. Should say hello, Kataro. Yep, it says hello, Kataro, like you're a VIP. As if there's no need for you to bother with the games, sir. Uh, we'll just give you the new bike now. 
There we go. I think this new bike gives us um, um, better ability to jump with it, and it yeah, then it does a malware sort of thing, like an old sort of uh, malware thing on old Windows. Um, yeah, it allows us to um, jump higher with the BMX. Um, as long as you, you you still have to time the jump though. If you don't time the jump, it doesn't. It, it still won't work. So you have to have a well timed jump, and then that happens. So you get a you get more time to do the trick really. As long as you um, time the jump correctly, so you can do a really long tabletop like that, a really easy uh, 360. Even though that's a 360 as well, just on a different plane. Um, right, I'll try another cheat now. Um, Noriko, that's surfing. Remember they're O's and not noughts, you can get caught out with that. Now, I'll do the foot bag this time. It's quite easy to get the foot bag high score. So I'm quite good at this one. The best ones I'm good at are the um, foot bag and the skateboarding, they're the easiest ones. Let's do the Dizzy Dean and Headbanger, no, let's mix it up. Headbanger, that's it. Do a half axle. Do a full axle. No, it did that. Doing it again. Stop doing that. This could get tedious. There we go. Okay, I should do some jesters, I think. Or that, that'll do. Do the horseshoe just for variety. It's easy to do the axle on on your back foot, really. Yeah, much easier to do axles when you do it from the back foot. It's easier to kick it in the air from the back foot rather than the front. I didn't do the dodo, did I? No. No, it's not gonna work. That should be enough for the high school. Uh, yeah, 46,000. Yep, good. Right, it should say, hello, uh, Noriko. Always gives me the surfboard, there we go. This one, this one will make me jump higher, but the trouble is, it, it doesn't make it easier to do a trick or um, a jump, because if you try to do the 90 degree jump, you can't see the surfboard. Uh, to get the angle right for the um, for coming down again because it goes off the screen. But uh, I'll show you anyway. It also goes much faster. It goes much faster. So it's really fast now. Whoops, really fast now. I have no idea if this is really like surfing or not. I'm guessing as it's a Mars System game that it isn't. Um, let's get that angle. Oh, that's close. Yeah, you don't attempt the 90 degree one. It's too, you can't see the surfboard to get the angle right. It's, you can barely see it for that one. It's just too fast. I end up doing loads of these. I mean, I don't know if I'm supposed to do more variety or not. If I do a sharper angle, it, I can't see it because it goes off the screen. Uh. Yes, 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 there's a goose. The trouble when that happens is it runs the time out while, it, while it's showing you the damn goose. I just did it again. They really should have had uh, the Beach Boys sort of theme for this one. Because I think the theme for the BMX is um, is Batman. Although why the uh, BMX thing has anything to do with Batman, I don't know. It's amazing te uh, technology. They can time a wave. No, oh, I didn't want to. Um, anyway, that's that one shown. I will just show you that the Takeko password works. Um, Takeko. 
Yeah, you can't scroll, you have to go back and forth. Remember that the O is an O and not a naught again, that can catch you out. Um, fiddle -dee -dee. I'll do the skating just for variety because I'm getting bored of doing a half pipe. I wish there could have been a password for each game because they could have made this one easier. And the flying disc as well, and the half pipe, so you can know how to do the aerial plants, which I've still no idea how to do, even after all this time. Whoops. Yeah, it's annoying when it does that. If you if you do fall off, it, you have to go through the sand like that. Luckily, there's no time limit. It's really catchy music, this. Just remember to do a spin jump over everything, you get more score. Is that? Right, is that enough? Yes, good. Right. I should say hello to Keiko. Although I won't show. Oh, I will show you the game. Just, to, but I did get this one legitimately. There's another uh, malware thing. Weird. Um. Okay. Show you the foot bag again. We're on the moon. Let's do that damned reverse Dota. Lovely. No, right, give me a jester. Do a double arch. Ah, oh, another jester. Yeah, if it goes off the screen, it sort of chucks it back at you. Although it doesn't count as still being on the um, on the ground. But if you if you hit it, I didn't I forgot to um, tell you that was a nice demonstration. Actually, I forgot to tell you if you if you knock it off the um, off the um, off the screen and then hit it back again, it will it will say nice catch and give you a bit of extra score. I'm trying to do a jester here, but it doesn't seem to want to work. But it's easy to do the jester from the back. And again. There we are. So keep going. Ah, oh, I didn't get the nice catch. Let's see if I can get it this time. Ah, oh, again. And again. Oh, good, got the nice catch. Yep, yeah, good. Yeah, it's a, it's a trick I didn't show you. It's not really a trick, though, it's just catching it when, it when they throw it back. Yeah, that is the Golden Gate Bridge in the background. It is California. That's a pretty decent score, actually, for, um... But it is on. It is made easier. I think on the Mega Drive version you can use your elbows and your shoulders as well, but this one you can't. But as a consolation, you get the flying disc. Now I won't continue practice. That is the end. Thank you for watching. I've uh, done the playthrough. Got high scores in every game. Showing you all the cheats. Um, 
So, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Next video will probably be... What was going to do next? Um, I don't know, I think of something. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. See, see you in another video soon. Bye-bye.